So here is what is going on with our little raised bed garden so far. We got, I don't think those peppers would do anything, but that is actually loaded with blooms. It's one of the super hots. I just don't know which one. And then we thinned out a cabbage. That grass is so long. And then the tomatoes and all but, I think, one, two, I think all but two tomato plants have fruits now. Uh, Bob found some on the Dewey Street. The ones that don't are Mariana's Peace and Jerry's German Giant. And I'll be trying them again next year because I really want to chase to Mariana's Peace. Mariana, Mariana. Funny girl, that one. Anyhow, so on this side, I have a Purpura Ritz and a Dirty Curdy. I'm going to dial in here because... Some of these tomatoes are just fantastic looking. And there you can see some. And now those are in my six foot bed. And then there's a little gap and we jump over to the 12 foot bed. And the first tomato in there, dog get away from me. This dog keeps going in that nasty goose water. And then she wants to run, rub up against me and yuck. Anyhow, um, we have a Kiss the Sky, Mariana's Peace, Dewey's Streaked, which Bob discovered fruits on, which makes me really happy, Jerry's German Giant, which doesn't have any fruits, boo, and then we have um, Seahorse, look at these, see if I can dial those in, these are the most unique looking tomatoes, I can't wait to see one of those ripe. And Bob's, Bob's talking to the geese over there. And then um, we go to Wild Time. I believe it's a Wild Time Bicolor. And let me see here. I've got, it's got quite a few on there. That is a Bill Jeffers variety. And Rosedale, which is right next to it. Rosedale also has tomatoes on it. And then we have Lorraine Beauty. Lorraine Beauty is loaded. Like, I'm so impressed with that one. That is a variety that I got from Alexi's shop. He's in Ukraine. And then after that, we have a Pruden's Purple, which absolutely has tomatoes. So I get to try those, I'm hoping. Looks like we're going to have a run of good weather coming. After the Pruden's Purple in there, you can see I have Indigo Rose. And then on the end is Juliet. And there's some that are blushing. I've already eaten one ripe Juliet. And then on the other side, we have Chocolate Cherry, Black Creme, Pineapple. I have two Delta Dons. Let me see if I can get this right. Uh, two Delta Dons, Maple Syrup, Viagra, Pomahanna Apple, and we have a Black Milo, and then I have, oh, I know there's a Clayton's Purple in there, and I can't remember what the other one is. Half, excuse me, I have a cigar. That's what the other one is. And then right here in the 30-gallon grow bag, I have a green creme cherry. And this thing is... I didn't think it was even going to do anything. I didn't know if it would survive. And it's not only survived, it's actually kind of thriving. It's, it's not a very tall plant, but it is loaded with fruit. And then, of course, we have our jalapenos. And then... I got some Egyptian walking onion starts and I stuck them in this bed with these peppers because these peppers, I didn't think they would do anything and they perked up and they're growing. I just don't know as we're going to get them to fruition, but we do have the Egyptian walking onions in there. So that's cool. And here comes Bob. I will actually have him do another video showing you the other side, uh, particularly the cucumbers they won't be able to